so my dear students monday 18th of march you all have neat mds 2024 so let us quickly summarize the things how to attempt the neat mds exam like top ranker students be very confident you all have studied everything by now revised multiple times everything have faith in yourself seek blessings from your parents and almighty and be into the exam hall with a lot of confidence and remember you are the best for that day not wasting your time reach center on time don't be late it will create panic unnecessarily be seated 10 to 15 minutes before start of the exam don't just ponder around the center talking with your friends and enemies meet them after the exam just enter the hall follow the instructions on your admit card be seated have some water stay relaxed next is stay calm and relax trust you me on this it makes a difference the more you are calm on your face and mind the better the paper you will do on monday now comes the important part attempt of paper you all know neat will have part a and part b you can always hop between the two part a is all medical subjects plus dental anatomy and histology part b is all dental subjects from dm oral path all final year subjects mark for review is a category where if you think you want to change your answers later on or maybe you want to review it you can always put into that category i'll come to that but part a part b you can start with any of your choice you can come in between the two what i would suggest is always start from part b because dental is more familiar but yes if you guys like you have been studying with us all through the year you are damn confident about the medical subjects you can start either ways but don't just keep on switching simply start part a go up to the end then come to part b go up to the end then come back to whatever questions you have not done when you are doing some questions and you feel you know the topic but you are a little bit confused put it in the mark for review section also for the questions in which you are confused between two options but you know the topic keep for mark for review also the questions which carry the accept word false you have to identify keep them for mark the mark for review in the first stage this is what we call doing paper in two rounds round one is doing all the questions which you when you read it you understand you know the answer after reading the option you can easily identify it and you simply mark it the questions where you are confused between two options the questions which are carrying accept true and false and other things where you are not very sure of the things but yes you know the topic and you might want to revisit that question once again whether you are able to mark the answer right now or not keep them for mark for review mark for review is a category later on you can easily click on the tab which says mark for review and all the questions which you have kept in that category you will the computer will show that only important part is if you have marked a say a b c o d in mark for review section of any question and later on your test time is over it automatically gets submitted that answer will also get submitted okay so make sure you are handling this sections very carefully next is when you are confused between two options and you are knowing that topic basically i would suggest go ahead and take your chance don't just ignore it too bluntly until unless you have attempted more than what i will tell you in the end of this right you should take chances calculated risks that's what we call and they are usually good go by your instincts at times they always help but yes if you don't know the topic at all there is no point making wild guesses coming to image based questions image based questions there are two things very very important one is first when you see the image look for an arrow usually they give you an arrow in opg or ct scan or lesion or something if you can locate the arrow within say one or two seconds you are going to hit a jackpot you first see the arrow then you see the options if you're not able to see the arrow in two seconds simply read the options first and then see the image again i'm repeating when you see image based question it's better to see the option first and then the image 
because that way once you read the options you know what topic the image is going to be like, like all the options are of cyst now you know in the big opg you have to look for cyst otherwise you will look here and there in the entire opg and the question might be totally different at times i have seen many a times like questions of image base they give you a case also you can answer it even without looking at the image images are just an add-on or you just to confuse you nothing else sometimes the images are so spot on like you see the image and you know the diagnosis but yes always read the options carefully before jumping to any conclusion lengthy questions when you have lengthy three four five line six line questions last two lines are very very important in such questions i'll start from last two lines then read the entire question and then the options i'll just repeat if you get very lengthy questions read the last two lines first these are some tricks and tips read the last two lines first then read the options and then read the entire question once again this will help you right then easy questions don't overthink just mark it remember 33 to 40 percent of the paper is very easy like we have been telling you the book also i have released on that one liner thing you'll find something like that only very straightforward drug of choice material of choice this that scientist name date and all very very like you can say padne ki bhi zarurat nahi hai us paper ke liye so don't overthink on these questions easy questions are very easy questions you might think the examiner why he is or she is asking me such an easy question but yes they do ask so don't overthink just mark it but in easy questions make sure you are reading the options very carefully don't just read the first option and mark it always read 3 2 3 4 when there is a catchy question na easy question usually the first option is not the answer usually but this is not a hard fast rule then questions might be very difficult or new questions like difficult or new i mean after reading entire year of preparation there might be two three one question in the paper which you haven't heard at all just ignore them as of now this is these are the questions you are supposed to leave at this stage at the round one stage when you are doing in first go then question with except false and true all the questions which are asking you identify the true statement i would say attempt in round 1 all the questions which are asking you to attempt false statements or the question has not or the question has except i would suggest you to keep it for mark for review and go it in the second round because our brain is oriented very well in answering the true questions and ultimately we make a mistake inadvertently by like not able to adjust to the false statements or environment okay so when in doing paper in flow do all the questions which are related to true statements and mark for review keep them for like mark for review the questions which have not or except or false right then comes the million dollar question how many to attempt if your paper is easy this logic i have been applying since my 6 16 or 15 out of 17 years of education career and it is always like bang on you'll thank me for this for rest of your life right it might sound vague to somebody but yes this is what is the you can say the going to make you going to hit the jackpot on the day of exam definitely i'll tell you the day you get your rank you'll thank me on this if the paper is easy go up to the attempt of 95% or maybe more that is minimum 228 can cross 230 very easily but stop at 235 236 anyhow right why i am saying leave three four or five questions are the questions jiske bare mein aapko a b c d nahi pata what to leave is the smartest thing a topper does a good student does a good ranker does what to leave is like you don't know anything about this topic so leave it right because if after studying so much and paper is looking very easy to you ultimately if something is difficult for you it is difficult for entire india on that day so many people many students or almost everybody will be making mistake you are smart enough to leave that that day and yes these questions differ from student to student because of differential preparation strategies right 
then if the paper is difficult still i would say mark my words attempt 90% plus don't attempt less than 210 you are doing like sorry to use the word it's a suicide nothing less than that okay so now the question is million dollar question is who will tell you paper is easy or difficult do you think i'll come to your hall or some akashwani will happen that today paper is easy so you have to attempt 228 plus or today paper is difficult it's like you have to attempt 216 plus right nobody is going to come no akashwani no uh, lightning nothing it's a signal you will give it to yourself when you are doing paper in one attempt first attempt first round and your attempt is pretty high high means you are able to cross 67 two third of the paper to 70 percent of the paper or maybe 75 or more like if you are able to attempt more than two third or maybe more than 70 percent take it for granted paper is easy if you are stuck less than 70 percent or two third of the paper take it for granted paper is little difficult but little difficult does not mean you will attempt 200 190 and so on if you are attempting less than 216 to 20 you are already in a bad phase actually i can't explain you at this juncture but you'll thank me i'll promise you that okay so remember this and this is important now comes to don'ts what not to do in the exam hall don't change the marked answers especially for the easy questions you have done it done and dusted move forward as such you don't have more than 45 seconds for one mcq don't overthink that's what i want to say you are confident you are the best and ultimately you are right don't spend too much time on one mcq if you think it is going to one one and a half minute you have done now it's over leave that question move to next you don't have that much time practically like 45 seconds is an average per mcq in neat exam third is do not panic if at all this dash is if at all god forbids bhagwan na kare you are not able to attempt two four five seven eight ten questions at a stretch don't panic it might happen in first round but it will cover up in round two i am very sure when you come back on the same question later on you i'll tell you what to do in that but remember don't panic right just maybe change the section and move forward okay then don't play with mouse and keyboard don't make your paper submitted before the stipulant time as such it's not going to be submitted okay the software is like that you will not be able to submit before three hours but still don't play with your career as per the paper before the paper starts the instructions clearly says don't play touch your keyboard so don't touch it use only mouse to mark it and do it very sensibly don't involve in time waste activities like going to washrooms again and again because you have to do your biometric you have to get your name and everything verified when you go to washroom maybe like thinking your friend is going to be like there and you will ask some questions nobody like these kind of tactics they are very much there are a lot many supervisors roaming around and once they catch you up talking even talking hi hello namaste you will end up in a problem you might end up like don't it's not worth it okay you are sensible enough and prepared enough for all this don't finish the paper too early it's not going to it's not a race okay take full time don't finish off paper and then start looking here and there because ultimately if you are finishing say half an hour one hour before you'll end up changing your answers and that is disastrous right then again admit cards are out so all the best again read the instructions of the admit card very very carefully and abide by them religiously by that i'll just summarize it carry one photo id preferably Aadhaar card pan card voter id or whatever is written Aadhaar is the ultimate thing carry a printout of admit card front and back that's what they have written two pages front and back black and white or colored it's your choice then important is dress up very casually or formally sim simple dress up nothing complicated you should girls have been instructed not to have hina a mehndi on uh, like fingers especially because you're going to do biometric okay especially on the left thumb which you have given as an impression not thumb but the impression then no tattoos and all on fingers then uh, no ornaments for girls like nothing 
okay no nothing in the ornaments please be like on for one day three hours just refrain from that for boys no wallets no sunglasses even for girls no sunglasses no watches no electronics are allowed okay no wallets are allowed no belts are allowed shoes normal shoes just don't wear fancy clothes and get uh, unnecessary attention so just read the instructions and you will understand it as such we have shared in your groups and everywhere okay they follow that very strictly the code is very strict as such they have written the back facility is not there but locker facility is there at every center as per our previous experiences okay so all the best from team bds to mds we wish you all the very best once in a lifetime exam do it well get a good rank get a good mds seat of your choice and remember lastly you are the best nobody can beat you on that day 18th of march is going to be your day 18th of march is the day when you are going to make history for yourself thank you have a great day